quite a look at the outright odds if we can, uh, Roy, and just, just confirm that. I mean, Hamilton, he's shorter, I think, than four to six now, isn't he, to win, to win the, the race. Four to seven now, top price. Yeah, I mean, it, it, and you consider he's too short, although he is the most likely winner himself, and uh, Michael Schumacher, four wins around here apiece. Um, he is the better driver. I think that's generally accepted. That, that's why he's, he's favoured to be world champion, even though he's sort of training uh, on points overall. But, um, yeah, probably short enough, like I say, this is not a great racetrack. He overtook here last year. I think there were 20 on-track overtakes last year, which is still relatively low. But the car's that superior. He's only got one person to beat, and that's his teammate. Yeah, and uh, the drivers' championships, that's very much uh, still in the balance, isn't it? Of course, so Hamilton, I think, will win the shortest. He goes back one to four at one stage, didn't he, in this? But he's now 10 to 11, and Rosberg at even money. So it's still all to play for there between the teammates. Yeah, I've got this thing banging on about uh, sports personality of the year, to be honest. I, I just firmly believe that if Hamilton wins the World Championship, he will have to do it at the last race when um, when they've decided to, to give the drivers double points. So the last race of the season is worth twice you know, what any other race is worth. And with, with this season going on for so long, it's televised on Sky and BBC. I just think he can see McElroy for sports personality of the year. So if I was going to back Hamilton to win the World Championship, I actually wouldn't I'd back him to win sports personality of the year. Okay. I guess if, well, if McElroy holds the winning part in the, the Ryder Cup or something, that could, that could change that as well, though, couldn't it? So it's, it's it, all to play for. It could indeed, but overall, if you look at the stats again, you'll see that the Formula 1 drivers have got a far better record than golfers. Mm, that's interesting. Very interesting indeed. It, it, it does look like it's a two-runner event, though, isn't it, the sports personality this year? It certainly would have been, so wouldn't it? Everyone else has dropped off the face of the planet. Um, you know, cyclists have been the thing recently, but Chris Froome is already from the Tour de France. You know, that's the last hope, really. Yeah, it certainly looks a match. Um, yeah, this one, this one, I'm not saying this because I'm a Formula 1 fan, it's just the fact that it gets far more airtime on two channels throughout the year. You've got to remember the last race of the season, it's only just uh, it's like, um, a month before Christmas, you know, last week in November, so it's going to be fresh in people's minds where, where what happened in, in the middle of summer um, in, in the golf tournament might, might be forgotten. Mm, interesting, the, the bookmakers got McElroy favourite, haven't they? Four to five, McElroy seven to two Hamilton, so might be a bit of value there to have a look at perhaps for later in the year.